Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you um, a workaround uh, in Microsoft Forms. Uh, it's not possible to um, let anyone, meaning only internal uh, people, uh, can upload uh, documents. If it's said that the sharing is for anyone, meaning externals, it's not possible. So I'll show you how to do that with a uh, a OneDrive uh, file request. So it's it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. So let's see how we do it. So first of all, I will create a request form file. I will go to OneDrive and create a folder. In this case, I will go to New, create a folder, and I will um, call it uh, Upload. Now, request uh, request upload means that each one gets a link and no one can uh, see the content of other people. So that's uh, the best thing. So I mark it and go to request file and I can give it a name. So let's say uh, um, contracts and actually I can, what I can do is to copy the link. That's it. Now I have the link of request. Now anyone that will upload uh, will get a link and he can upload. Now let's see how we integrate it in um, Microsoft Forms. So press escape. Nine dots, I will go to Microsoft Forms. Where's Microsoft Forms? Um, I'll create a new form. Let's call it a uh, contracts and one first question will be friends first name let's make it a, a text it's first name first and last name and the second one you see if I choose a file upload it's for internal now let's see what happens if i go to the share button and and change it to anyone now we will see that the question type up file upload is uh, disabled so we cannot use this so i would open up a text question and i would write please upload the files to this link I can then shorten this uh, and then type okay actually I can so he would type here that he has uploaded okay so let's see how we uh, it, how it goes so I press a uh, preview the user will type in, for instance, uh, his name, Ami Diamond, and he will click on the link. And what will happen is he will uh, get uh, a notice that says, uh, I'm asking for the, for the contracts. I can select the files. Let's uh, upload these things. And you see, I can it uh, if if I'm um, internal, it will recognize my name. If I'm external, it will let me to type my name and add the name to the files as a prefix. Let's let's so so now it's uploading everything. We will see in the back end how it is. Okay, in this case, I will take this link. Oh. Let's share it with somebody else, this form. Share it, I will copy this and I will go in a safe mode. Okay, I send it to somebody. I enter my name. And I click here, once I upload it, I will enter here also, okay? Now, I get it. I will upload 
and here because I'm external he doesn't know my name so he will ask so let's let's give a name Lee uh, Joe will upload and uh, I finished you I just will go back to the form and press OK and submit it so this is like a workaround um, now let's see what happens in the background in the OneDrive I will go back as a let's go to the OneDrive of the person that filled it out under the upload I see these are all of the files you see for the external it took the files and added the prefix of uh, Lee Joe and for the internal he took also the name and added it to the now the user did not see any of the files of other people but everything was collected here so in this case we integrated between the form fun functionality and the OneDrive request files just to show you how it is for our internal form so just uh, let's if it's internal you see I can choose a file upload it will tell me it will store it in the run drive I can actually define how many number of files and the, the size of it and if I do a preview then the user will sorry let's try again he will click here on the file upload and he will upload it this is for internals so um, it's not the best uh, solution but it's something that works and this is the workaround so uh, test it and let me know what you think if you like my channel subscribe and see you in the next uh, training goodbye